Milwaukee Tool brings together a key piece of innovation. We are focused on innovating for our users. We have a culture that supports that innovation and the ability to bring that technology to bear on users' problems. That's what brings me to work every day. We're dealing with machine learning in a very unique way. We have constraints on how much data we have, constraints on our processing power, constraints on the algorithms available to us. All of those constraints, while it sounds limiting, are really opportunities to figure out how to really push here. All of the IoT industry is faced with the same problem, and this company has given us all of the resources we need to go attack that, and we're going to be able to lead because we're empowered to do that. We innovate quickly, we try things, we put it out there, see what works, see what doesn't work, we test it. We take our algorithms, we put them in the field partway through our development. We collect data once it's out there to learn about how we're going to do it next. In order to disrupt ourselves, we have to prepare to be wrong and learn from it quickly. I hear lots of people saying they want to work on something that really matters to someone. We're changing the way the tool behaves in the user's hands. The drill that we, we've just released that detects bind up is a very good example of this. You're a user, you're trying to cut a very large hole in a piece of material. And the drill is going to get caught and the handle's going to start moving on you. Now we have an algorithm that detects that that's occurring and stops before it moves too far. Understanding that problem, realizing that that's a key point for the user in that tool, and giving them that algorithm allows us to put more power into that tool. Your phone can already think about what text you're going to send. What if your tool can also think about what you're going to do next? What if we can get more out of our power tools, not by putting more copper and more lithium ion cells and more windings in our motor, but using what we have already more effectively by knowing what's happening in the tool and making it more productive?